core one, practice paper number one, question number two. Now this is in fact exactly how the question appears on the exam paper. Hope you work through it first. Now I won't say that every time, but I'll say it a few times just to make the point. Let's get started with question two. Given that y equals 4x cubed minus 6x plus 4, find dy dx. Now this is called the first differential. In other words, we are required to differentiate this equation. So let's differentiate it. We multiply that index. Sometimes it's called an index, sometimes it's called a power. We multiply that index by this number in front. Sometimes called the coefficient. 3 fours are 12 and drop that by one power. Now, when we differentiate something like minus 6x, sometimes we're just taught that the x disappears and you're just left with the 6. But there is a better reason than that. If we consider this is x raised to the power 1, then we can go once 6 is 6, drop that by one power, and get x to the power 0. Now, you should know that anything raised to power naught is in fact 1. So this is in fact saying minus 6 times 1 which is just minus 6. So OK I could have just written down minus 6. What about the plus 4? Well some people just say the number differentiated disappears. Again that's not strictly speaking true. What in fact is is we consider this as 4 x to the power of naught, because anything raised to the power of naught is 1, 4 1, so that is just 4. And if you consider this as multiplying the index of naught by 4, then in fact it does become naught. OK, you don't need to know all of this to get the answer right. You can just say, oh, it's 4, 3 is a 12, drop that down to a 2. The x disappears, I'm left with a 6, and the 4 disappears. Boom, there you go. d2y dx squared is saying find the second differential. In other words, differentiate this again. So we go 2 twelves, a 24, drop that down one power to a number 1, and there's no need to write it, differentiate the minus 6, and OK, we'll just go for it disappears. Now let's look at this. Integrate with respect to x, this expression. This is an integral sign. Integrate with respect this expression. Sometimes you need to rewrite the expression before you get started. So in fact we do have to rewrite this as 6 x to the power of minus 2. That's called the reciprocal. Now when we differentiate, we multiply the 4 by the 3, the 3 by the 4, drop that by 1 power, this is the opposite way around. We need to raise the index by 1 power. I wonder if I'm doing too much teaching. I should assume you know what I'm doing. Oh well, I'll carry on doing it this way. Raise this by 1 power. and divide by that new power. Now what about integrating this 2? Well we can just say oh the x comes back from wherever it disappeared to. And that's the way most people are going to remember I suppose. But what I mustn't forget is when you integrate you also have a constant of integration which could be any letter you like but usually we use the letter C or the letter K. This is the correct answer, but this is algebra, and we should always remember, always simplify algebra where possible. Always make it look simpler. So in fact we can consider that minus, and we can consider this as the reciprocal of x to the power of 1. So in fact this is a simpler looking answer. 
Whenever you have algebra, you're always expected to simplify it. Let's have a look at the marking for this then. So this first differentiation, we'll get one mark for getting that part right, one mark for getting that part right, one mark for getting that part right. So that's nice and easy. For the integration, I would expect you to get one mark for appreciating you need to rewrite that, and then one mark for each part of the integration, including one mark for this constant of integration. So that's question two. If you want to see the whole video going over the whole of this paper, then for, for more information, visit www.mathtutor.biz. I hope to hear from you.